This is part four of Odd Weekdays of February, quotables and quotations and quotes and such from people that are either artists, painters, photographers, or none of the above, like today. We'll just call him an author and an observer. The unlearned eye first admires painting as an art of imitation. It is only from the progress of our sensibility and the practical cultivation of our minds that we begin to comprehend the greater compositions of genius, after which the unity of expression is felt to be the great secret of the power of painting. Sir Thomas Dick Lauder. Yes, that is a mouthful. What Sir Lauder is saying here, if I can paraphrase a little bit, is it's normal to see just the subject matter in a painting. However, with a little extra appreciation and understanding of art, the genius of composition will speak to us with a feeling of expression. Now, unfortunately, Sir Lauder is just talking about paintings, but really this does apply to all the arts, whether it's stage and drama, whether it's sculpture, whether it's poetry, even if it's music, a written piece of music or a performance of music, which could be on a piano or vocally. And we do kind of understand a little bit about vocal performances if we think back to our favorite judges on American Idol and maybe we are hearing the singer perform and Randy Jackson's all yo yo I'm just not feeling it or JLo Goosey's she's feeling it she's feeling the expression Let's substitute out a few words to get a deeper understanding of expression because, I mean, we commonly understand expression as like if I say to you, I need to go to the gas station, my car's on empty. Well, I just express to you my car's on empty and I need to go to the gas station. I, but that's not really what we're talking about here. We're talking about a conscientious expression of a feeling through art that might be considered a voice or a vision, or perhaps we can call it a sentiment or an impression. Or here's your big one, sympathy. You see, the thing about the word sympathy is today it's kind of taken on a bit of a one-sided meaning. I don't know about you, but it's, 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 it's by general observation, the word sympathy is pretty much always in the context of a funeral where we have a mutually agreeable emotion with those that are grieving. But it also goes around the other way, too. Sympathy also means, let's say, a friend of mine just finished up his book after three years. He's excited. I'm excited. I'm happy for him. We are in sympathy with each other. We are in agreement and emotion. Happiness. It's not that simple in artwork. It's simpler and it's more complicated than that. It's not as simple as happiness. It's not as simple as sorrow. It is simply the simplicity of the intangible. We just can't touch it. We can't say it. We can't put it into words. It's on the tip of our tongue. And well, that's what an artist is going to do with his canvas and with his canvas and his brush. He's going to express himself with a paintbrush because words just don't make the expression. So as a beholder, we are looking at this canvas. We are looking at this painting, his work of art, his expression. We are feeling the same thing. We are in sympathy with one another. That is what this expression is all about. The message here is about expression. It's about composition. It's not about subject matter. The expression cannot come from the subject matter. Let's go back to Randy Jackson. He was saying, yo, yo, dog, not feeling it. Audience booze. He raises up his hands. Hey, wait, dogs, let me explain. Audience booze even louder. Well, that's because they just love that Justin Timberlake song that the contestant just sang. Randy wasn't feeling it. So that's kind of a Justin Timberlake song, which is kind of the subject of what the audience just experienced. 
but did not experience the expression of the singer. There was a lack of performance. Well, that's yo-yo dog, you know. This is the odd weekdays of February, exploring quotes and quotations from artists and painters and photographers and others about well, art and such, and we apply it to photography. We've got two more this week, and they will be, we'll, we'll be continuing this discussion on expression with a couple of more quotes in the next two episodes. I'll give you a hint. It, they're, they're both going to... The, the hint is hinted. We'll leave it at that. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.